action. Um, magandang umaga sa inyo. As you see, uh, I'm about to depart to Quezon City. But uh, let me let me give you a simple message that uh, I always repeated in so my many speeches uh, before my very own people and uh, before the world. First, um, dun sa mga, to those people who try to encourage me many times that I have to, to run uh, in a public office this coming 2025 election, I am sorry to say, uh, I repeat this over and over again, uh, politics is not my business. It is not my forte. I just wanted to help everyone as much as possible. Not only the Ilocano, the Manileño, but instead, I want to help the Filipino as a whole, regardless of race, regardless of creed, regardless of religion, regardless of color. You know, as I have said, everybody must help one another. Why? Because Filipinos are like that. We always wanted to live by each other happiness, not by each other misery. We do not hate and despise one another. We should not. You know, I do believe that in our country, there is a place for everyone. And the beautiful world is bounty of good seeds. And I know pretty much that it can provide for everyone. The road of life could be at liberty and wonderful. Again, I repeat this over and over again. Many of our brothers and sisters have lost the way. Why? Because greediness to fame, power and, power and wealth have poisoned men's soul. And those ambitious men barricaded the world with hate and foolish individual drag us into misunderstanding and misery. Hindi ako magsasawang uli din again. The world has evolved so fast. People develop so much technology. Again, we almost lost humanity. Our knowledge has made us cynical. Our cleverness made us skeptical. We always try for the best, but sometimes, or many of us, many of our people, we feel too less, not only to ourselves, but also to others. We need humanity more than technology. We need kindness and gentleness better than cleverness. Because you know, the absence of these qualities in the heart of man, life will be savage and everything will be lost. The very essence of this message, why I repeat this over and over again, is to cry out for the righteousness in men and appeal for universal brotherhood, for the unity of all people. Those who can hear me around the world, please, I say, do not distress. Why? Because the hardship in life that is now upon us will soon be come to pass. Or I shall say, will soon be over. You know, according to St. Luke's, in some of my many speech, I will never forget this word, the word of St. Luke's, that the kingdom of God is in the heart of man. Not just one, ten, hundred, thousand, or million men, but in all men, in all of you. Again, I'm just an ordinary man, a businessman, who tried to awake the hero inherent to every man, and I try to stand it during the worst time of our country. Then please, in the name of liberty and democracy, of course in the name of humanity, why we don't use the heroism within us to create a decent world that will, can give all of us equal right and equal opportunity. We don't need to practice the egalitarian philosophy. A world that can provide a better future to our children and a security to a safer community. Sa haba ng sinabi ko na paulit-ulit, isa lang ang gusto kong malaman nyo. Ayoko po ng politika. At hindi nyo ako makukumbinsing tumakbong politiko. Sapagkat hindi po yan ang kagalingan ko. 
ang kagalingan ko po ay ang maglingkod lang ng walang any political agenda. Maraming salamat po. Kaya po sa mga nagsasabi na please tumakbo ako. Sorry po. Uh, this is my final word. I will no longer politics is not my business. Or I shall say politics is no longer my problem. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay po kayo.